Hi, my name is Ponchi Rivas, and this video is going to help you learn how to load the filament into the extruder. Um, just one thing I wanted to point out to everybody. Um, of course, you want to have the filament unloading towards the front, but what I've noticed is that um, if you're changing through different colors or, or different kinds of filament, um, and you just leave this rolled back on itself, um, sometimes when you pull it, you've got it underneath another wound of uh, the filament, and when you put it loaded up, you don't realize it causes a knot in there. So what I do when I unload one is I just put it off to the side there like that, and that keeps it from tangling up. So to load the filament, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we get the extruder hot enough for the, for, for the particular filament that you're going to be uh, loading. Um, so I've already done that, and then just kind of make sure that you get this thing lined up where the filament is. And what I've done is I had a lot of people tell me that it was difficult for them to load the, the uh, filament. So what I did is I made this, uh, this hole larger. It's actually a window and you can look down in there to see what you're doing. Make sure this is up a little bit off the bed so you can really get a you know, good look and when filament starts coming out that you've got some room to clear it off. So the first thing you want to do is look down into that ferrule, maybe straighten this up a little bit. And you want to put it down, and you can push down on this thing, squeeze it so that you get that bearing to come out. And then you want to load it, and there's a little gear in there, in the bearing. And that gear has a little groove in it, and you want to put the filament right in that groove. So once you've got it in that groove, you can just push the arrow down button on the software, the manual control, and you can see that bearing has come out, it's grabbed it. So I've got the speed set to 200 and the extrude and retract set to 20 in my software. So it's going to take about three clicks of the button to get things going. And I've got filament coming out of the nozzle. This is the third one, we should get some filament coming out. Okay, now there it goes. So I'm just going to keep going a little bit further. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm just going to clean this off. And usually what I like to do is I like to park it at home because this kind of puts a cap. See how it's kind of oozing out? But when you start your job out, if you've got this filament, it's going to get on your job. So by parking it, you kind of plug that hole up in the nozzle and uh, don't let that stuff ooze out any further. Uh, and you got to remember that it's, uh, if that material is oozed out, uh, it's not going to be included in what it has in that volume. And that's the reason why there's a skirt printed around your, your part. So it kind of gets everything going and primes that filament. Anyhow, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, have fun with your 3D printing.